It's the Jaden Show, and here's your host, Jaden Cornelius. Welcome to the Jaden Show, and I am the Jaden in the Jaden Show. I'm Jaden Cornelius. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to JCTV. We have got, I have got, we have got, because I'm here with my kids, as you can see. There is actually one, two, three, four, five dogs here at the moment. Let me see my little hands up. Boy, boy. My foxy face. Look at that face. Beautiful. But anyway, we don't know. We are here and we have got the best show for you today. If you really want to completely relax, to feel really amazing about you because you are amazing and about the life because it is pretty amazing even when bad times happen, then this is definitely the show for you. We have the most incredibly inspirational, motivational, magical composer and songwriter on this show today. His name is Pablo Arellano. And, well, if you don't like him at the end of this show, then I think you're crazy, but it don't matter because this video I'm going to play you now has over 15 million views. This is called Nostalgia by Pablo Arellano. You're going to love it. Oh, sorry, we're back on. I could just stay like that forever. That is just so beautiful. And I just think there's nothing else to be said apart from let's welcome this week's super special guest. Pablo Arellano, gracias for coming to my show, The Jaden Show. Thank you so much for being part of this show, man. Ah, uh, Jaden, I'm honored. Uh, no. I love I've, I love your singing. Uh, you're so amazing artist, a human being. So um, I'm really honored to be here. Well, this is going to be then. Obviously, this is going to be now like the double praise thing because I have been a fan and admirer of your work even before I came to Mexico. Your music is, I've, I just I don't have words. Like it's just so moving. It is so touching and so healing and so I mean it's just beautiful. Like really, 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 it is. It's like breath. It's like magic. It's like the sea. It's like all these the most beautiful parts of of the life that we live. It's, it's part of all of that. It's it's magical, man. It really is. So, um, so I want to know, like, the, what I want to know is how did it all start? I mean, you know, you kind of hear about people like strumming guitar to share on the radio, and you know, but how how did you start, and how did you come to playing music that is actually is is changing people's quality of life? Thank you for that. Um, um, <laughs> it's a difficult question to answer because, uh, you know, life is uh, like a bundle of magic mm -hmm. and it's like an onion that you peel. Yeah. And uh, it's this infinite uh, 
journey of trying to reach that core. And one of my models when I start working in the morning is uh, I like uh, like something you write on top to inspire you mm -hmm. uh, is to try to make the most beautiful thing in the world. Mm -hmm. So that's like my 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 goal. Yeah. So when I start working is like okay, I'm gonna try to make something so beautiful, the best, the most beautiful thing I can make today. <laughs> but I have the philosophy that if everybody makes something beautiful uh, or has the opportunity to make something beautiful, we could make a beautiful earth, a beautiful planet. Wouldn't that just so be the best? That would be enough, you know, if we all put a little bit of that beauty into, the, into our work. And how it started, uh, really, I think I was born with some intention of... Um, of uh, healing because since I'm very young and I played the piano uh, I always had this response when I played something was happening uh, around the the nurturing of the spirit mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I said if, if I feel this when I'm playing I'm sure other people will, will, are going to feel it and uh, when I play, I feel this, uh, and I, I'm sure you felt it when you sing. It's the, the same devotion that you just explained to me before we started the interview about the spiritual mm -hmm. path and how this evokes something within us that uh, connects with something that it's beyond us. So without us, absolutely. It, it, it's, it's not about the, the ego, it's more about the... Uh, it's the spirit. The divine connection. I don't know how to explain. It's, it's <laughs> the essence of all that is, right? Yes. yes. It's, kind of, it's your connectivity to, to Godhead in whatever form that, to that energy, of, to life, actually, you know. Yes, yes, I think it is. Today I was talking with my wife. She's a painter. And uh, I told her, I told her the, the apple trees can only give apples, mm. right? <laughs> they can't change their nature to give uh, mame or, or papaya or orange. We'll orange this Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to be give apples. So I told her, you are a person that is a tree of beauty. Mm -hmm. And you're only going to give beauty when you paint. Whatever you have of uh, struggles to do that painting and this or that, should I change this or that? At the end, you're going to produce beauty. Yeah. Because... Yeah. Like the apple trees produces apples, you yeah. produce beauty. <laughs> so yeah, they can't do anything else. Yeah. Relax into that nature of, of giving this beauty and, and let your nature take over. And I, I think we all humans have this. We can all be the tree of beauty, you know. We, we struggle with that ego so much. I mean, I, I remember being in India and listening to a guy called Muji doing, um, speaking. Every, I was lucky enough, I didn't even plan to go and see him, but he just happened to be there for the two weeks out of the three weeks, I just happened to be there. And he's phenomenally insightful human being, like very yeah, wise and beautiful. And from London, he used to sell incense sticks in a market in South London. So he's just like, I kind of was able to really just connect with because there was no, I want to say, I want to say the word bullshit, but I, I, can't, I can't think of anything else. There was nothing. It was just pure essence of his soul and what he's learned over, over his period of, of becoming um, more connected and more wise and everything. And he basically said, it's kind of like what you said about the tree. He said, the sun is always the sun. It can do nothing but be the sun. And when the clouds are shining, that's your, just, that's your perception of the sun then, that the sun has disappeared or it's not strong enough to break through or whatever. It's, everything that we go through in life that's negative is just clouds. But the sun will always be the sun. And it's like with creativity, and we are really bad as humans to be our own self-critics, you know, like, oh, my God, that's sounded, oh, I could do that so much, better. Oh, but I'm tired, oh, you know. And it's like, just be, just be the sun, be the apple tree. Be yes, you. yes, yes. Right. I think that's part of the journey that we're discovering in ourselves. And more and more I realize that uh, that onion peeling that uh, each of one, each of us is uh, searching for that uh, divine connection 
comes naturally. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, sometimes we, we think that we have to think about it or, or, or do certain actions of merit. But I think it, it's a natural thing in each human is to f flower, to open to, to awareness and to consciousness. And I think part of this uh, journey, in your case and my case, is expressing through art. Yeah. And that's something that uh, it's a gift uh, to give to all people. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's interesting that you use the onion as well, because what people think is that, you know, um, with life and with progression of spirituality and knowledge and connection, etc., then everything should be joyful every single day. And that would be lovely. But as the onion has proven to us many times, there are also quite a few tears on that journey. Okay. When you're peeling the onion, it doesn't make it that you're no that you're no longer spiritual, no longer progressing, no longer whatever. But the tears that are involved sometimes on that on that becoming is just part of the journey as well, right? Yeah, I think emotions are integrate inter inter uh, phenomena in the human nature. I mean, the more we are in touch with emotions, and some of those emotions can go higher, no? Yeah. Like, I give you an example. Sometimes I'm looking at the ant, yeah. just there walking, no? And uh, I say, well, it's going up the flower and then goes to the flower and then uh, we're not very different. The only, the only difference is that uh, I'm a little bit more aware of her, wow. but uh, she's aware of other things that I don't know, of many, many other things that she's she's looking for so this onion peeling of emotions when we see the ant or the flower can sometimes create ecstasy you know in in, in some understanding so maybe we see a flower every day but our consciousness is is a uh, is opening 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 and giving us it's like a, i don't know if you remember this um uh, the the book of um, Siddhartha from Hermann Hesse, when uh, Siddhartha and Govinda are sitting down in the river. Okay, yeah. And they're sitting, and then uh, and they're talking about how the river is the same, but our consciousness has changed. Mm -hmm. That the river becomes something different every time we look at it. Wow. Okay. Because it's doesn't matter if the river is the same, but we're different each moment. Yeah. So that uh, that understanding that we can we can uh, progress our awareness and, and expand it. No. Does that also happen with your music? Because you know you've composed a lot of songs, and for <laughs> someone to find that beauty and not to sound the same in any other song for me is a miracle. Like. Because you're always approaching that river and seeing that river differently, right? Yes. That song is it's always a different song. Well, I'm a, I'm a very strange musician, Jaden. Not like you, that you have a good memory for music. I, I, have, I have no memory. <laughs> 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 like, you remember songs, I, I don't remember anything. Okay. So, uh, people tell me, in, when I go to a party, and they tell me, ah, play the piano a little bit. Uh, can you play this song? And I say, no, no, I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know anything, <laughs> anything. Oh, so any, wow. any time, every, every time I approach the piano, is like I'm the, the first day wow. playing, and uh, this creates a relationship with the piano. Maybe I don't know. That makes it a little bit fresh, or yeah. or something. It doesn't mean that when you memorize, no, I, I can memorize. And of course, if I practice, I, I will memorize. But most of the music, I improvise it in the moment. And that I think that creates some um, connection, some freshness. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're channeling spirit, right, when you're playing, because you're open to that. Yes, yes. I, I, I Now that I do some lives in the Inside Timer app, I don't know if you heard of it. I yes. will send you a link so you yeah. join me. I have one concert Saturday. Um, 
the interaction, even if it's like uh, virtually, there's still some feeling of what the people are saying there. and the f It's a co-creation, you know. And when you're improvising, one word or one one thing can change your... Yeah. No? If, yeah. I don't know if you've had that experience when you're singing in public and somebody yells something, sing there, or you, you're great, or... You're, yeah. It, it changes the vibration of... Yeah of your creation and it's like, it becomes like a flexible thing. Unless you're in the middle of singing Nessan Dorma and they say, do you know any 80s stuff? <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's all it changes fun. your consciousness, all right? <laughs> Completely. You know? I, I've noticed that, that I, my music is for one public because if they tell me, play el cha-cha-cha, mano. You know? Yeah. Okay. No, that's right. <laughs> so, so have you always made have you always made the music that's inspirational or did you like start off playing in the local pub or the local bar doing i don't know jose jose covers and then all of a sudden you found your way into or have you always been just driven by your instincts and your intuitions to play the music that you channel to play the music that comes to you well i was uh, formed uh, professionally by my father he did uh, tv commercials mm -hmm. And I was always doing the all the audio part, like I was mixing the, the jingles and commercials. I would do the jingles sometimes for him, mostly instrumental jingles. And one time a friend of mine, uh, friend, sorry, friend of my father came to me and said, I was like 17 or something. She said, I need a CD of something new that's coming called New Age Music. Wow, okay. <laughs> Can you do something for me? And I did my first uh, New Age CD. And I still have the songs on Spotify. It's wow. called Soft Passion. And, and since, there, I, since then, I started to do my own instrumental healing music. And then when I met Natasha, my wife, she, she told me, why don't you? Because I recorded some of the people that appeared in this movie, The Secret. Mm -hmm. and I. I interviewed them and then I uploaded to my channel, my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife comes and says, why haven't you uploaded your music? Only the interviews. And I'm like, blah, 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 You should call your channel uh, Healing Music. And, and you put your music up there. And then uh, I did, I put two pieces like an experiment. 100,000 views wow. like in two weeks. How blessed, man. And I said, well, what's going on here? So I started to put my coffee in the morning, improvise a little bit, and upload with an image only, no, no video. Yeah. And then it had a great appeal and great success. And then, then Inside Timer invited me to do some of the stuff. Then I started to do workshops for them. Now I do. Some, I have four workshops there: two in Spanish, two in English, and and my music. And so that's my routine. I work up. I do some music and upload. Because you, your your YouTube channel, Art House Movies, and we're gonna leave links to where everyone can find you. And just a note to the viewers, you need to be finding this man. Just hashtag it, just saying. But um, on your Art House Movies, you have over 96,000 subscribers. I was really excited and went and bought a can of Coke to celebrate when I got 1,000. You, <laughs> you have 96,000 subscribers just on that YouTube Art House Movies alone. That yes, must... It's like magic. I don't know. How, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Empowering, humbling, magical, like all of the above, right? It's just, oh my God. Yes. And uh, Inside Timer has now 70,000 subscribers. The, the YouTube has, like you say, 96,000 something. But uh, I was very surprised by, uh, I did one improvisation of um, like a quartet music that I have in the YouTube. And uh, I, I just played, I said, I'm going to play my Baroque style quartet thing that I love, you know? Uh, it sounds like a... Something like this, but with the quartet, no? Yeah. Wow. And then 
I left it there and I forgot about it. I published it. And then like six months later, I come back to it and it had one million and a half views. Oh my God. And I said, but that's my, it, it, something clicked on me. And I said, if you express what you are, truly what you feel within, yourself, what you yourself. love the most, yeah. you're going you're gonna to be successful. Absolutely. absolutely. I mean, this, you, this is, you, you can convince people to follow the facades, but when you're at your rawest, at your most creative, then that's when the magic happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think this, this when I published this, no, because I had another video, the guitar song, piano song, guitar, that had 15 million views or something. And I said, wow, that's magic. But then I thought maybe somebody put it in a blog or something, no? Because we're always putting ourselves a little bit down, no? The, the ego wants like to self-destroy. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I, 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 I played this quartet thing and then I said, no, this is the, this is the proof <laughs> that when you do your most inner passion, everything, the, the, the magic happens. Like meeting you. Now I have an audience of, of your fantastic followers and I'm showing my soul to them. But it's, it's about balance, right? You can go from up here to down there. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> No, it's been amazing. And we have to, in the not too distant future, there has to be a uh, Ariano Cornelius collaboration, I feel. Ah, I think that that, that would be an honor. It would be beyond an honor for me. Like, so your music is just, your music is super, super, super special. And I guess the feedback that you get, I'm going off on a tangent. Is there anything that you've done that you kind of, it wasn't done through that same spirit, through that same connection that you'd, done other tracks and you were like this really isn't working for me something that you've done that you'd regretted musically or has everything been something <laughs> like has it all touched i don't want to talk about my bad no. music <laughs> <laughs> was it at a party when someone asked you to play madonna or something oh, but, you know in my 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 first marriage uh i start I, I was doing jingles for my father and this and that and I did some uh, music scoring that wasn't so good, and I mean the the movies weren't so good either. So oh, really? you have to pay the bills, my friend. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I was thinking so maybe I need to get you to do the Jaden Show jingle. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be an honor, but these movies, uh, uh, forget about them. Really, <laughs> but 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 no decision is a bad decision, right? Because you learn something from every decision you make, right? So it might not have been as edifying as one would have liked but it still taught you a lesson of some kind right yeah i always try to do my best like i tell you my model my nodu is uh, try to do a beautiful thing but now this 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 uh, mantra has become very clear for me yeah before it was like surviving and paying the rent and you know of course, of course. but but still you want still you want your soul to be there to to express something so the the music was even the movie wasn't very good the music was very well accepted you know? uh, so I'm, I'm always trying to do my best yeah and i think we're in really kind of tentative positions as artists on certain levels because our clients our buyers are our supporters and it's up to us to also to work with our supporters to create that kind of you know that relationship with them that they're always supporting what you do so you know so when you are singing a song that you've written yourself that you know it's got a beautiful melody you're really happy with it and then someone says can you sing la isla bonita by madonna it's like yeah i have to sing la isla bonita by madonna because you're paying to see me <laughs> you know and and sometimes but there's a way that you can still connect with the, the magic of being able to do something, the blessing of being able to do something. So I'm still very blessed that I'm here, that I'm able to sing Tropical the Island Breeze on the Chihuahua <laughs> Because yes, 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 so it's, you, it's just changing that consciousness rather than being offended. It's just changing yeah. that consciousness and still realizing that you're blessed to be, to have that ability to be able to supply something that someone else needs. On that level. Well, because I think our divine nature is going to uh, permeate everything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you do; the divine nature will will uh, come out and permeate yeah. whatever you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the more aware you're of that uh, divine nature, the mo the more it permeates your reality. Yeah. 
-hmm. And the more uh, you see it reflected back. I feel you, yeah, for sure. And uh, I'm not talking about money or anything. I'm talking about uh, the view of the world coming towards your divine uh, Self. eyes, yeah. like the eye of the beholder, you mm -hmm. know? So <clears throat> uh, the more you are aware of this, you realize that there's some magic going on. And I remember my father telling me, uh, I was younger and, and, and he would say, uh, I can't reveal all the secrets. There are some secrets that you have to discover for yourself. Wow. And uh, he was an amazing creator. I mean, musician, architect, uh, theater writer, jing jingle composer. Wow. He was like a genius. But now I realize that he was talking about this magic. You know, when you create from your heart. Yeah. It's, it's without words sometimes, you know, like... It's, it's so difficult to stay focused on the essence of the art than on the need of the reason why you're exercising that art. So to pay bills, to please an audience, to feed the dogs, you know, and going back to that very basic thing, like, you know, we just said about the, the onion or the tree or the, or the sunshine was just about just being, just being. If you have that gift, it's part of everything that you are. So just be. Just be who you are, be what you are, and just allow it to flow. Yeah. And that's this is so I forget truth. that a lot. Deep truth and also very simple one, you know? Yeah. Simple doesn't mean easy. No, no, no. no. Because in my co in my workshops I talk about something called uh, uh, and I'm going I'm finishing now a little book of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And I talk about the blob. The blob is a persona, an ego, something that is trapped here in your plexus. Mm -hmm. And it, it's everything that is uh, the victim state. Okay. Uh -huh. So the blob is always talking in your mind. Mm -hmm. It's always taking you uh, away from the creator, from the passion, from the essence. It's telling you, yeah, you can't sing, you can't play the piano, you can't do this. Uh, nah, this guy doesn't love you, this other guy doesn't love you. The, you see, it's the victim yeah. within yeah, you. Absolutely. But it's like Moji was saying, the, the sun is behind the clouds. Yeah. It's always there. So it doesn't matter how much blob you have. No. Find the blob. <laughs> I acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just see what it, now, what it is. Once, once you acknowledge it and you're aware of it, then it's much easier just to discard it. Yeah. And, and, and tell yourself, like the Book of Miracles, uh, it says, whatever is not love is an illusion. Oh, yeah. So this is, this is the challenge to go through the forest of the blob mm -hmm. and see your own light. And once you inhabit that light, and you play from there, then magic happens naturally. <laughs> There's no effort. Uh, with a little bit of sadness, I see that uh, today, for example, in Instagram, you know, you have all these women, women uh, showing themselves and uh, bathing suits and this and that. And then you have somebody like Greta, Greta, the mm -hmm. climate change woman that, yeah. uh, and I see this contrast you know there's one person that's talking about something critical in the world that we need to help mm -hmm. and then this all, all other um, uh, state of awareness that it's very very low yeah and this contrast I think it's moment to to find the balance and to to higher our frequency i i, I remember singing a, a classical crossover song that i loved and you know i'm an all right singer i'm not the best but i can sing and i remember thinking oh my gosh like i've got like 700 views on this thing and i just googled no i am um, youtube searched the song because i wanted to hear other people's covers because i really like listening to people sing 
and going, oh, my God, that was amazing. Like, I really love listening to people that aren't signed artists that are just singing because they are creative and artistic people. And there was, there was one guy, incredibly handsome, like desperately handsome, singing the same song, topless in front of his computer. I listened to him. He couldn't sing a song if his life depended on it. Like there wasn't one thing in key, but he was, he was like a stunningly handsome guy. He had over 7 million views. <laughs> and I was just like, this just proves that it's only sex that sells now. It really yes, it's something That's strange it. with the, you know, like the crocodile uh, brain of our, you know, and the media knows this. And, of course, and, it plays on it, absolutely. Attacks that part. Yeah. And, uh, okay, I mean, sex and life and whatever, it's okay. But it, we're not in, in a, we, we need to really become aware of the things that are important in our life and to raise our frequency. To a higher vibration to change the planet because like this we're not going to survive if we don't change. I mean, it's like critical. we're just we're doing this. We're looking at the boobs of a woman and the underwear of a guy, and this is it now. Everything else is happening here, but we're just on TikTok. <laughs> that is yeah. it. Watching yeah. to see that dance move again, you know. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this is this this has to change. Uh, I don't know. I have a seven-year-old son and a 24-year-old daughter, and I wish for them to have a beautiful planet, a higher frequency, a new consciousness, a new awareness of the divine within. This is what I desire, you know? But as you said earlier, when you're living that truth, when you're living that, your essence, that's what, what you give out, you get back, you know? So you can only change your immediate environment by the way you see things. So you will just be an example of that higher vibration of another way to be able to see the world. And hopefully more people will be attracted as they are with your music will be drawn in by it and um, connected to and inspired by it. Not only your music, but the way you live your life as well. And then hopefully that will instigate changing within them. So. I hope so, and that's that. That's what wakes me up in the morning. And this is part of your workshops as well, right? This is kind of yeah. it's about your music, but your experience and, and your knowledge as well. Yeah. Yes, I teach a very simple meditation. I can show you and your viewers. It's called the I am. Mm -hmm. So the I am is the observer of the thoughts. It's the it's the deeper essence within you that can observe what is what you're thinking and not attach itself to that ego or blob. I call it the blob. So whenever you have this thought of uh, not worthy, not being worth, or uh, victim state, you repeat, I am beautiful, I am peaceful, I am uh, loving, I am uh, I'm aware of my thoughts, I am aware of my emotions. And this only saying this mantra, I am aware, Help, help, sorry, helps you to, to make a buffer zone from that blob, blob because that blob can be so intense, you know, it can yeah. be critical yeah. I, in the mind. I've been really close friends with that blob for many of my years. From my life. In fact, when I finish this conversation, on my mirror, I'm going to write, Jaden, put the blob down and walk away from the blob. This is going to be my new match. <laughs> I love yeah, it. My, my, my blob is really quite well honed at the moment and needs to be changed. So Yeah, because the blob is sticky. <laughs> it's, uh, it always adapts, adapts. It knows you very well. He's the most oh, intimate oh, enemy you have. So uh, we, need, we need things to, to buffer ourselves away from that blob. You know? Absolutely. And it's, it's incredible that you're a living example of, you know, it doesn't change from any difficult and painful and sad experiences. But like you said, it gives you that buffer to be able to experience them and know that they are experiences that are not the rest of your life now. You know? Exactly. So it's how you react to the bad things. It doesn't mean that you'll never have bad things happen again. It's just how you roll with them, I think. Is it, the it's important. the quality of life. The, the, the quality of life changes a lot. Yeah. And when you are aware of the blob, because your reaction is going to be in like in my workshop, I call it 
uh, inner peace inner peace should be your highest priority mm. so if you if you give peace your priority then the blob is dies can't do yeah. nothing right? absolutely doesn't Stop have being anything being. to to feed on you know yeah because fear anxiety worry everything depression all those, all the, yeah, yeah. All, all these things are the blob sucking your soul you know yeah <laughs> the blob is it's even I thought of doing a cartoon about it. No, I was about, you know, even then I was thinking, this is a book, <laughs> mate. This is like a cartoon book for kids as well, the blog. You know, yeah, like, I have yeah. to start with kids at early ages. So. Yes, because we, we, we don't talk plan. about these things for children. Well, I, I don't, I mean, like, there's a lot of, I suffered with mental health for my whole life. And I've got to be honest, sometimes it really is completely um, saturating and very difficult. But I'm very blessed enough to know that, um, and I've been, you know, the things that I've done and the connections I have, I know that everything is temporal. So even on days where I feel particularly low and depressed, it is a cloud moving across the sun. It's going to go, you know. So I have, so I have my, I watch a comedy movie, listen to great music, uh, or I just go to bed and think, I'm done. Today's done. I'm going to have a hot chocolate, go to bed and start again tomorrow. Whereas back in the day, it would take me three months of that same mood in order for to move me on. So. I'm very lucky, but there are such a huge percentage of our population that suffer with mental illness. And it's one of the most not talked about things on the planet, you know, but it's also, and I'm not one of these people who say, oh, you're depressed, get over it, listen to some lovely music. It is not that easy, but it is about small changes in the way you allow your blob to dictate your life. I remember many years ago, really kind of being on the stage of suicide at one point. <laughs> and, I, and I started, and that's when I first watched The Secret, and I remember walking on the beach every night and I go, my life is amazing. And I deserve an amazing life. My life is amazing. And I've done that through tears for weeks, not feeling even remotely that my life was amazing. But what I did notice about three weeks, four weeks, five weeks later, that I didn't cry for all of it. And then after about seven weeks, I didn't even cry. And then after about eight weeks, I was like, oh, my God, look at that seagull. It's amazing. My life's amazing. I deserve, oh, my God, that dog playing. I started to see things that were more beautiful. Yes. And it really does. I mean, I'm not saying that this is the cure for everyone's depression and suicidal tendencies, but it gives you that buffer, as you said. It allows yes. you to also, stand back a little bit. Yeah, that distancing helps it to, you can identify it more mm -hmm. easily mm -hmm. and, and gives you a little doorway to, to change a little bit the synapses Absolutely. that are connecting with the depression because the brain when it does something a lot like a chronic thinking or automatic thinking it connects like this no yeah and then when you introduce the mantra the mantra makes a little bridge yeah so instead of thinking i'm shit you think i'm beautiful and this this changes mm -hmm. changes a little bit your reality not completely because the blob wants to connect again, no? And it will connect again. And it will probably connect a good few more times. But That's having it. that awareness, you know that it's just the blob connecting and it's not actually you. Exactly. And that's the most powerful thing. We're yeah. gonna have to we're gonna have to move on because um um I wanna fit this all into the show and I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky and ask if you could play us something before we leave. Of course, of course. But I'll before play. you do that, just to let the, the viewers know that we're gonna post things to your to your YouTube. Um, to your dot com, to your art house movies, and to the Insight Timer, right? Correct. So where people can find you as well, and just to the public, I'm going to mention mention this after the interview as well. That you know, this is a guy that you really need to be following. <laughs> so, Pablo, thank you, thank you, just so much for being part of this show. Don't say, don't say goodbye yet, because if you'll just give us a little taster of just of something. Course. Of your beauty, por favor. Thank you. And uh, just tell me like this when I two minutes passed. You do two minutes. Okay. I will say goodbye.
Thank you, James. I just, I just want to kind of sod the two minutes, man. I'm just going to sit here for the rest of the night. <laughs> you can just <laughs> carry on. That would just be amazing. Pablo, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being part of my show. I really respect your magic, respect your talent, and I just think you're an incredible human being, and I'm really blessed. And hopefully you'll come and see us again soon. Yeah, I hope so. And great success for Jade in the show. Thank you so much, man. And we'll catch up very soon. Take care of yourselves and love to the family. Okay, the same. See you later, man. Bye-bye. The man is super amazing, super wonderful. Magical man, magical man, magical music. <laughs> Completely, I just want to lay down and listen to his YouTube now. So that's actually what I'm going to do. But I'm going to share a video with you just for you to maybe just some spend some time in that in that state of consciousness that he said just with that with those mantras that you are beautiful and that you are worthy and you are successful and you are loved and you are love. And maybe we should just listen to this piece of music, this healing and relaxing music by Pablo. It has nearly 3 million views on YouTube. They've got to be right, right? God bless you. Take care. See you next week on The Jaden Show. Love and love.